Hello there guys, my name is Coach Joe Longston, I'm on board Build for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Cedar Point. Now this is an interesting news update and I wanted to cover something. Similar with the Drayton Manor one yesterday with the rumours about Apocalypse and Shockwave, this is another rumour slash speculation that I really wanted to discuss. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, let's get into this discussion then. So I'm going to put an image on your screen now. Found a bit Aussie now. This was a leaked image, um, top secret plans for 2021 for Cedar Point with a seagull next to it. Now, the reason why I'm discussing it is someone immediately suggested what's the highest height that birds fly at and it was the answer was 500 feet and people were immediately saying 500 foot coaster. Now, that isn't my prediction yet. <laughs> it is very clear that is not my prediction. Um, but I'm just going to be discussing with that, sort of discussing a couple of options, what it could be. Uh, but I do definitely think that this is teasing for 2021. I do think that Cedar Point is going to get a major new attraction in 2021. And I think that with the teasing starting now, in at the end of 2019, I feel like there's going to be something massive coming, whether it's to do with the theme park or the water park. And I'll go on about the water park in a little bit. So. I've got two main predictions in store for this. Now, one of them is a roller coaster, uh, not a 500 foot, <laughs> nowhere like a 500 foot, but a coaster of some kind. Now, with the Seagull, I think if they were going to go for a roller coaster for the dry park, I feel like we could see some construction, uh, like groundwork sort of taking place early next year in 2020, uh, ready for a, a spring or summer 2021 opening. Um, and I feel like with the seagull, I think it could hint towards a bird theme or even a seaside theme. Uh, you look at Gatekeeper and how that was like the uh, the keeper of the gates uh, at the at the Lake Erie uh, on the Cedar Point shores. Um, you know that's the whole theme of like like the uh, like someone's uh, like, like coaster at the front of the gate, and that's like the gatekeeper, like an aha moment. Um, so, you know, you've got that kind of thing. So I think something like uh, a shore type theme or, theme or a seaside type theme or something to do with like the shores or the seaside or the, the pier, something like that or something, or it, could, it might not even be themed to like a seagull or something to do with the seaside. It could be themed to like a bird of prey because a seagull is a bird technically. So they could do like a bird themed coaster. Now, what type of coaster do you think I, I think they'll add? Um, I think one... Well, in terms of B&Ms, they've got the invert, they've got the dive, they've got the wing. Um, they haven't got the flying coaster yet, so I think a flying coaster could be a big opportunity. This could be a big opportunity for a B&M flyer. I think a Mac multi-launch, of course, with the addition of Copperhead Strike at Carowinds, I think that'll be a good addition. Um, I feel like an extreme spinning coaster, like the one at Silver Dollar City and the one going in in two years' time. Uh, codenamed Robo Spinner, a pop sign the panel. Obviously, go and watch that video from yesterday if you haven't seen the details on the layout for that. That looks fantastic. They've actually released a video on their official YouTube channel. It looks fantastic. Um, something like that, maybe. Or maybe they're going to go on the Gerstler Infinity Coaster route that we were rumouring a couple of years ago. Uh, if they were going to add a coaster for the anniversary, but of course we knew in the end that they, that they weren't. Uh, and they are doing just general improvements. Um... So something like that, a B&M Flyer, or a Mac Multi-Launch, a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, or a Ghost Star Infinity. In terms of a bonus fifth option to make like a top five predictions, obviously people like top five predictions, I'm going to switch it up a bit and go for the Family Track Drop Coaster, either a Sierra, like a Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, or 13 at Alton Towers, the Intamin route. Uh, either Intamin or Sierra, but a Track Drop Family Coaster, maybe with launches as well, like Verbolton or Fire Chaser Express at Dollywood. So those are most of the top five predictions in terms of if they were going to go for some kind of coaster. Like I said at the start of this video, there's no way they're going to go for a 500 foot. No way in hell they're going to go for a 500 foot coaster. That is nowhere near my predictions. I I never I would never would predicted that. I, I love to get on the hype train sometimes, but my god, I would never predict a 500 foot. No way, Jose. Obviously, you guys will probably be thinking, where's the RMC T-Rex prediction? I'm like, well... Again, they're not going to be ready for a couple of years yet, so that wouldn't be a good enough prediction if we are looking at a coaster in 2021. Uh, now, my second prediction with that teaser is, with the Seagull, I'm th and I mentioned this on a forum, actually, 
I'm thinking something for Cedar Point Shores. Now, a lot of fans, Coaster fans, may be disappointed with that, but similar to the anniversary investments for next year, I think that a Cedar Point Shores edition would be brilliant for the park. I feel like a new water slide or like a new seaside area expansion for the kids or for the families. Uh, you look at the uh, sort of work, uh, waterworks sort of expansion area that they did for families at Dorney Parks uh, Water Park. You look at stuff like that. So I think something like that would be cool. Um, but it should be interesting to see how the teasing campaign develops. I mean, the seagull could just literally represent Cedar Point being the roller coast. Um, and the actual theme of the teaser campaign for 2021 won't start until next year. So that's that's sort of three ways what I'm looking at this. Either a coaster, theme to the seaside, or some kind of bird of prey. Of course, you know my top five predictions for now. Um, they're just general like opinions on what they could do in terms of coasters. Either a Cedar Point Shores edition, or it could just be a Cedar Point theme. Um, just to say we're playing something for 2021 and the actual teasing campaign for it won't start until 2020 so that's sort of three different routes we're looking at with this so I want you to leave your predictions and thoughts in the comments down below uh, this video I really want to reply to every single comment like I always do you know I do um, but for now guys thank you very very much for watching this theme park news update from Cedar Point make sure you like comment subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and for now, guys, keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next news update very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.